What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is Beer Pong Picks My March TBR. As always, every crazy video that I make is coming from another YouTube video that I watched and this time it comes from Mr. GG. He's a commentary YouTuber and he has a video called Bad Content Pong where he sets up beer pong and he puts X's on cups. He has to watch bad content that his followers have sent him or he watches something good. And so I decided that I would do Beer Pong Chooses My TBR. I also remembered that someone tweeted this out like a year ago maybe, and this is Kylie A, and she said, somebody better do Beer Pong Chooses My TBR. Well, Kylie, this is for you. <laughs> so I basically followed what Mr. Gigi does in his video and I just made it booktube related. So I put good and bad prompts into red solo cups for beer pong and I play the game exactly how Mr. Gigi does where if he misses he has to take a drink and he puts X's on the cups. So the ones that have bad prompts were actually sent in from you guys so thank you so much. They were so creative and I really enjoyed them. So I played just how he played and here is the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is also a part of the TBR Games, which is a TBR series I've been doing. I started it in January and this is the second installment, so the first video will be down below. Here you go. This was pretty interesting and I've never really gotten drunk on camera before, so I hope you enjoy. Also, I am over 21, so I'm able to do this. Um, enjoy. <laughs> We might be here for a while because I am going to take two swigs of my cider since I missed two of the balls. That's one. That's two. Miss it again. That party last night. So the first cup I got, oh, this has an X, so this is a bad prompt. Love that for me. Um, let's see. Read a book you were assigned slash recommended to read but never did. This actually might work for school because there are some books that I am assigned to read. Um, I don't know what book we're going to be reading, but whichever book it's going to be, it's horrible because I hate this class so much. So it's just gonna be any of the school books that I have to read. So that's just bad overall, but productive as well. Let's, let's get a good prompt. <coughs> Shit. Yo, I'm killing this. Let's go. Um, this, okay, this has an X on it as well. This one is another bad prompt. It has an X on it. Um, so let's just see. This is read a book with a cover you hate, and this is from Karina Kalb. So thank you to them. I can't think of one off the top of my head, so insert the footage of me picking it from my shelf. Sober me here to tell you what book I'm going to be reading for the prompt of to read a book with a cover you hate, and this is Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone. Yuck. <laughs> I just... I don't know, just something about this. I just wouldn't have picked it up unless I had, I think I won this in a giveaway or something like that. But if not, I would have never picked this up on my own. But I love Tamara Ireland Stone. I think this is her debut and it's a historical fiction. And you know, your boy loves historical fiction. And I love Tamara Ireland Stone, so I'm very excited to read this one. I have two more picks, so I really hope that I get good prompts and not bad prompts. <laughs> Another X. I swear whenever I see people do TBR games, they always get the bad ones. Like, <laughs> I hope that I at least get a good one. I'm waiting for it. Read a book you've only heard negative things about from Gwen. I guess I'm gonna go with um, What If It's Us by Becky Abertulli and Adam Salvera. I have this for another prompt as well. Um, 
But yeah, I've heard really bad things about this, so I have it on my shelves and I'm going to read it for this prompt. Currently, I have three down, one more to go, and if I don't get a good one, I'm gonna have to just add number five or I'm gonna just keep going until I get a good one. Um, yeah, let's go. I honestly would rather miss and take a drink than get a bad prompt. All right, let's go, baby. That party last night was awfully crazy. I wish you taped it. Please be a good prompt. Yes. <laughs> and this is, I think, I'm thinking this middle grade. No, it's an own voices book. Hmm, what am I gonna read for that? I know what, <laughs> I know what the good prompts are. <laughs> I know what the good prompts are, so I'm hoping to get an arc. I really want to get arc, so we're, we're betting on that. Also, have you know that I don't really get drunk off these, but I've had a drink prior to this, so I kind of pre-gamed for this video. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I think it's the arc! I think it's the arc! Ah, I think it's the arc! Ah. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> See that, baby? It says arc, and this is going to be when We Were Everything by Ashley Woodfolk. Haven't read it yet, but I'm gonna read it this month and probably this week. I've been reading ARCs this week, so this could also just go for the ARC I'm reading right now, but I'm also reading my ARCs this week. I'm also gonna read um, Rick by Alex Gino. That's an ARC I got. This could be for anything, and that, my friends, is the video. Okay, so let's review all of the prompts. We have read a book you were assigned slash recommended to read but never did. And for that, I am reading one of the books for school. Yuck. Oh, next is to read a book with a cover you hate. Um, and I should have picked that while sober. <laughs> um, next we have to read a book you've only heard negative things about. And for that, that is What If It's Us by Becca Ritali and Anna Silvera. I have heard horrible things, not horrible, but I've just heard that it's not their best work. Um, so that'll be fun. Next was to read a new voices book, which I can use for anything, for the Queer Lit Readathon especially. The Queer Lit Weekend is at the end of the month, so I'm probably gonna use that. I'm gonna be reading Rick by Alex Gino, which I think is own voices. Not entirely sure. Um, I'm also participating in Middle Grade March, so that works for that. Um, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm like trying to do audiobookathon, so I'm gonna read Brave Face uh, by Sean David Hutchinson. I don't know if own voices entirely works for like nonfiction because obviously it would be nonfiction, but I could use that as well. Also on my TBR for the Queer Lit weekend is Ivy Aberdeen's Secret to the World. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But it's by Ashley Herring Blake and I've heard so many good things about it. Um, and it might be on Voices, so I don't know. But the last prompt I got was ARC and I am currently reading Unscripted by Nicole Kronzer, which is an ARC, it comes out in April. I'm also going to be reading Only Mostly Devastated because it comes out tomorrow. I'm gonna start that hopefully tonight, but I wanna edit this video, so who knows what's going to happen. But it's only 213 pages, so it's pretty fast. Um, but I'm just gonna be reading ARCs this month anyway. I'm also gonna be reading Dragon Hoops. Like there's just a lot of ARCs that can work for this, so that's it. Back to me for the outro. Let's, let's close out. I don't know, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little tipsy, a little buzzed. We'll say buzzed. I'm not like entirely drunk, but I do have alcohol in my system. So that was Beer Pong Picks, my March TBR. If anyone does this, please tweet me, tell me you've done it. I wanna see people do it because that was fun. It was very fun. 
Um, so yeah, that was the second installment of the TBR games. Subscribe for more. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. And that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time.